Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I clean my brother machine. Now of course if you don't have a brother machine you can still use these tips and tricks to clean your own machine just however it is disassembled you know of course refer to your user manual. So I like to use some soft brushes, some paint brushes. I like to use an old toothbrush. I have the little um, screwdriver tool that came with my machine and I also like to have another screwdriver and um, I have some all-purpose machine oil if you need any of that and then I like to have some paper towels just to wipe things down as I'm going. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is start to disassemble my machine parts. I took off my foot and then I'm just going to take the little plate off of my bobbin housing. I'll take the bobbin out and then I have this little plastic plate here that I'm just going to remove. It has two little switches there that you just kind of push on and then it should pop out. And then I have a metal plate and I'm going to remove that with the little screwdriver tool that I got within my um, like the little parts that you get with your sewing machine. Um, it's not a very nice little tool. It's so hard to work with, but it, you can't really get a screwdriver in there. So you kind of got to use it. But once you get them unlodged, then you can just unscrew them with your finger. And then I took out the thing that the bobbin sits in. I don't know what that's called, but the little the little housing for the bobbin. So I just took that right out and then it will reveal the horribleness that is my machine. I am such a bad machine owner. So I just like to use the paint brushes and whatever I have just to, you know, unlodge all the very stuck on lint and if you're using oil sometimes the oil can sort of you know make that lint really stick to the parts so um, sometimes using a more stiffer brush is going to help and that's why I took off the um, foot arm there and I'm just going to use my toothbrush to get at the feed dogs because the feed dogs were super caked on like oh my goodness so of course some of it will fall further into the machine so i like to kind of just like brush it up in the machine and then i can just pick it up with it kind of sticks to the paint brushes um but if you do have a you know a crevice tool type of little vacuum cleaner you can definitely do that but you really need to get in there with the stiffer brush and just unlodge all of it at the same time so as you can see it it's pretty bad <laughs> uh, it doesn't take long though like if you're using more of a fluffy fabric or a linty fabric or a fur fabric like those things are just going to make um, your machine get dirtier faster so you know, depending on what you're making, uh, you might need to clean your machine more often, but I would definitely recommend doing this at least once a month, which I should do and mark it on the calendar. But that little pile right there is, that's what came out of it and that's ridiculous. So now I'm just going to brush off the bottom of those plates that I'm gonna put back on because that actually did collect a lot of it on the bottom as well, which I was surprised. And we will just go ahead and put that back on. Everything looks nice and clean now. I think I got as much as I could out. If you wanted to at this point, add some more machine oil. Mine is still pretty oily, so I don't need to add any more, but this would definitely be the time to do that. And if you are going to apply oil, I would use a brush. I would saturate the brush and then just brush all the little parts just so that you don't have too much oil all over your parts. So now I'm just going to put that metal plate back on and I'll just put those screws back into place. If you want, you can put the bobbin housing back in first, but I just chose to put it in um, next. So it, it's fine, it can slip in there just fine. So even if you don't wanna take off this little plate, you know, next time you clean it, you just wanna clean the bobbin housing, then you can, of course, just leave that metal plate there and then you can take the bobbin housing out very easily and then just slip it right back in, making sure that you line up the little white arrow, arrow that's on the bobbin housing with the little white dot that's on the inside. Um, it's harder for me to show you just because I can't have the greatest camera angle, but hopefully you get the idea. And then I just place that bobbin back in and then the little white the little plate back on. Um, this plate is very delicate, so you need to be very careful when you're putting it back in because there's little plastic tabs everywhere that you need to kind of tuck under the metal plate. 
So just, you know, be mindful of all that so you don't want to break anything. So that is it. So I hope that maybe this helped you and maybe you haven't thought about cleaning your machine, but definitely this is the result of not cleaning your machine um, in a regular basis. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.